In today's tutorial, we will be making a DIY crystal chandelier. And this is my version of the Z Gallery's 8 Light Piper Chandelier. And for this chandelier, I wanted real glass beads. So I bought crystal garlands and a large embroidery hoop and some mirror tiles. And this is the one from Z Gallery. But we're going to be making ours for under $50, so let's get started. So I'm a bargain hunter. I found the best price possible for these crystal garlands. They're actually the same price as the acrylic gems, so I bought four packs. I'll start to take off my crystals and I'll just open the jump ring and take each one off. And the first two crystals for the short corner, they will have six beads on them. So we only need two pieces for the two corners and then I'll use sets of four for the rest of the sizes. And each time I separate my crystals, I'll add one to make it into a cascading design. Now that I'm done separating my crystals, I'll go ahead and work on my embroidery hoop. And I'll just remove that bolt on the side and I'll remove these extra pieces of wood. I'm going to use my jigsaw with a metal blade and I'll just cut along that line to get rid of those staples. And I won't be using these long screws, I'll just replace them with shorter ones. So now I'll take my Gorilla Wood Glue and I'll just attach the pieces back together. Thanks to all my loyal subscribers that always come back to watch my channel, I appreciate you guys. If you'd like to find me on any social media, Facebook, Instagram or TikTok, just type Budget Friendly Creations and you'll find me. Thank you. And then I'll use two clamps to help me hold them together and I'll also use my masking tape. If it's your first time visiting my channel, my name is Nisi. Welcome to the channel. The channel is Budget Friendly Creation. I hope in today's video you'll find a reason to stick around. Subscribe to the channel if you find it interesting. Please check out my other DIYs. Just click on my name below, Budget Friendly Creations. And you can see everything that's on my channel. Check it out if you like it please subscribe and i'm gonna ask you a favor please give me a thumbs up that will help me greatly thank you to hook the chandelier to my existing light fixture i'll drill additional holes and i'll just use my drill driver and i'm going to be attaching these small screws and then I'll just screw them in and I want my screw to go through both pieces of the hoop. To hook my crystals to the hoop, I'll be using staples. So I'm just going to be using this one inch mirror as a guide just so my staples will fall equally distance apart. In the end, I realized I could have used the staples to measure the spaces instead of marking the spaces prior. And I'll show you what I mean. I left it to dry for four hours and now it's time for me to apply my crystals. Well, apply the staples rather. I just apply my crystals at the same time so I could see how it looks. I'm starting from the center and the center piece has 23 crystals on it. And then I'll work my way to the corner which is 6 crystals. So each one I'm adding here is 1 crystal shorter. So I'm just using my utility hammer and I'm tapping the staples lightly so they can lock in place. And in some areas I use 2 staples if it's too wide. I was so eager to see what this would look like. I kept holding it up. 
to finish off, I use my pliers to separate the staples much easier. And this is what I was talking about with the spacing. The staple is basically half an inch, so I just keep a staple space and then I place the staple in the next. So now I'll just remove all my crystals. Remember I said I'd place them there to see how it would look. I was so eager to see how this would look because the embroidery hoop is so big, I thought it would be too big. But then when I place it on my light fixture, then it was fine. So now I'll just use my Gorilla wood glue and I'll fill up the pockets where the staples are so it can hold them in place. After the glue was dry, I went outside with my Rust-Oleum Champagne spray paint and I spray painted the edges, most of the edges and the inside. Now I'll attach my mirror tiles and I'm using 1 inch mirror tiles and I'll just use my Loctite construction adhesive to apply them. And I'll use my glass cutter to cut the last piece so it can fit snug. I lost the footage for the rest of it, but I'll talk you through the next two steps before I reattach my crystals. I'm just going to be using Mod Podge with my champagne glitter and I put it on the inside. And then to hook the chandelier to my light fixture, I'm using floral wire. And I just wrap the wires around the screws and tighten the screws. And then I loop it over my light fixture. And I'll be replacing these wires with my transparent fishing line. I think it would look much cleaner up there. So I wrap the wires around my screws and then I tighten the screws onto the hoop. And I use six screws. I'm so happy with the way my chandelier turned out. Here it is without lights, without the lights on. And here it is nice and glistening. The crystals are just glistening guys and that's all I wanted. If you'd like to find these crystal garlands, I left the link in the description box below. It's the cheapest price I could find and it worked out to be the same price as the acrylic gems. Thank you so much for watching. I have other DIY chandeliers, beautiful chandeliers on my channel. So please check them out. I'll leave a link right here so you can watch.